Excellent, thank you. Welcome back to Travel Like an Oching. Tonight is formal night, so we're in the main dining facility, um, <clears throat> and it's formal night. So you got a bunch of people dressed up really nice. I'm expecting an excellent meal, as I always expect when I come in here. And I'll, more, af more after this. So, as yesterday, I, I got a pretty good rundown on the menu, standard menu. So, the last time the guy mentioned it's a standard menu, unfortunately, there are enough options on this menu for me to be able to pick something slightly different with my seafood challenges. So, I'll be able to do that throughout the week. Okay, okay. so apparently, um, <laughs> I missed my window to um, request the mushroom soup. I guess if I had, uh, yeah, it was on yesterday's menu, it's not on tonight's. And the um, person, the server just informed me <coughs> that the soup is available upon pre-order. So um, that's a tip for you all. If you want a particular item on the menu and you don't see it and you uh, get here the night before and you like something, request it on that date, uh, on, on that day that you see it and then it'll be available to you for uh, future dining options. So, I, But I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll do an iceberg wedge. For the main course, I did like what you recommended, the beef tenderloin. I will be getting that. And I liked his um, dessert recommendation of carrot cake. So we get a nice um, full body red, um, but that's a game day decision, so I'll just wait to do that. So he's recommending Robert Mandavi, uh, a great label, so We'll see how that goes. Ooh, I just saw something else on the menu that looks very interesting. They have a stuffed portobello mushroom, spinach ricotta, parmesan cheese, served with marinara. I'm gonna add that to the docket. So, be adding that to my main. Old fashioned first, and then with dinner, Robert. Yes, thank you. Okay, got my drink water in. Know what my meal is going to be now to take a look this again another basket of lovely bread and for the cause i'm going to do one and then now the butter test to see if they did the right thing with the butter this time ah look at that nice soft butter I must have gone back in time and watched my video prior to me publishing it but well, they just finally did it right on day two, which is fine. So um, they got it right, nice soft butter. So last night, uh, they had a nice, fresh, freshly baked artisan roll. Tonight it's a um, French baguette, also freshly baked. I can tell because the bread is warm and the outside crust feels really good. And the inside is like pillow, pillow sauce. I'll taste test. Very good. I think it's fair to introduce my wait staff team today. There's these individuals. I'm gonna, I'm gonna butcher his name, so I'm not gonna bother trying to say it. The assistant waiter is Dennis, I can say that. Let me, let me try the first one. Charhorn, Charhorn. I hope I did justice for that, but that's who my team is. So far they've been very attentive and the service has been impeccable. Uh, you know, a lot of people talk about uh, formal night being an elitist night. I don't see it that way. I think um, it's traditional to cruising and there are enough options if you don't want to participate in a formal night. Uh, I'm, I'm very much in the school of <laughs> having uh, a formal night because it allows people to really experience uh, each other on an elevated level. I, I certainly don't mind going out and 
having a meal in flip-flops or sneakers or what have you. That's great. And we got many days to do that on the cruise. The fact that we have one night that we dress up, I think is uh, a very nice touch. From what I hear uh, in the industry, uh, they're trying to move away from more formal nights. I certainly hope that that doesn't come to pass with Royal and that they do keep this. There are plenty of the eating venues that people can go through and go to to not have to worry about this whole fancy eating, dining experience. I really enjoy it and I hope it sticks around. Here comes my salad. Awesome, thank you. So I just got my salad and they were able to fulfill my last minute request of um, bacon. But here we go, take a good look at that. Excellent. Let's see what this first bite is gonna taste like. I already know it's gonna be great, but let's just taste this. Lettuce wedge, blue cheese dressing, sprinkled bacon. Iceberg lettuce is pretty crisp. The blue cheese, big chunks, which I like. Definitely of a quality, I would say, upscale quality for a meal in main dining. It certainly holds its own, whether it be main dining or specialty dining. This salad would be do well in both scenarios. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give this salad eight out of ten. Actually, you know what? It's actually nine out of 10. Very, very good. Mm. The other point, it's not an overwhelming plate. I think there's enough on my plate to make it a nice appetizer. But sometimes they try to fill you up with the appetizer and you have no room for dinner. I think this is just the right size for a single serving. Good. I got my old fashioned. It's time for me to taste it. It looks absolutely great. Not sure what type of whiskey they use with it, but you know, let's just see how they get. Now, I gotta be honest with you, I've had better. In fact, in the Diamond Club, they made a much better old fashioned. Um, it, it really is a, a tough thing to do right. It does depend on the whiskey uh, and, and the combining of those ingredients. This isn't bad, um, but I want to order another one from this bar, uh, the main dining room bar. And, you know, that's, that's the truth on this. It's, it's refreshing. But I've definitely had better. I have to emphasize again the friendliness of the staff here. Just out of the blue, a gentleman came over, introduced himself. He didn't even really know that this was going to go up on my travel blog. And he just shared his, some of his personal life with me, which I think is great. So this staff, as well as Tiffany C staff, top notch. So, um, very impressed. I, I, re I really like the, the people who work. They, they show their dedication and they enjoy their, their uh, passengers that they're serving. So shout out to all the staff uh, on both boats. You know, Allure staff, you're second to none. Enjoying everything, not only in the eating venues, but just around the ship. Very nice, very kind, very considerate, always taking care of me. Thank you. You know what? I may have missed all of the stuff that I talked about because I thought I was recording and I wasn't. But let, me, let me just circle back. 
This is what's left of my mushroom. <laughs> it's delicious. Um, promise I made before was absolutely tasty, well seasoned. To taste each layer from the spinach to the mushroom to the sauce, nothing is competing with the other taste. They all complement one another. It's a perfect wine pairing. Very satisfied with this flavor. Very, very good. This beef is stellar. I mentioned before, this beef stands up against any of the specialty offerings on any of the um, um, World Caribbean fleet. It stands up to the steak offerings uh, on a, in 150 Park. Certainly stands up to the beef offerings in shops. I have to say that I certainly enjoy this and because of that it's getting a 9 out of 10 for me. I'm going to take a bite with the horseradish. Again, something that I usually don't eat with many things because it's got such a harsh taste. But I'm going to tell you. So I got some steak, potato, horseradish. You can't beat it. Horse radish just elevates this. The steak is melting in my mouth. Great texture. Perfectly seasoned. Yeah, you can't you can't go wrong with this meal. Very, very pleased. I said it before, I'll say it again. This stands up to any specialty restaurant that's out there. Well, well done, um, main dining staff. Absolutely fabulous dinner. All right, final course. I have my cheesecake. It looks absolutely delightful. Look at that. Let's get that first bite in and see how we'll rate it. Very good. I like about the cheesecake. Plenty of nuts in every layer. It's soft. This frosting melts in your mouth. The um, whipped cream just complements the taste. Another nine out of ten. You know what? Breaking my own rule. This meal tonight is a 10 out of 10. I'm, I'm, I'm bumping it up because of the great service I got from folks, the attention to detail, the friendliness. Yeah, this um, the, the formal night in main dining rivaled any of my experiences uh, in the specialty restaurants in terms of service, food quality, friendliness. So. Round two goes to Main Dining on Allure of the Seas. Congratulations. On the same line. Oh, excellent. What, what ships have you worked on? Hello to my family. 
Remember to like and subscribe and click that bell.